Hello you guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be telling you the top 10 places that you need to visit while you're in Peoria, Illinois. I really wanted to say Peoria, Illinois in my video because I'm gonna be honest, that's how I pronounced it. Just because I didn't care until I met my husband. So that was the unfortunate thing. As soon as I met my husband and started dating him, I had to say Illinois correct. I still think it should be Illinois. Okay, let's get started. I wanna preface this by saying I do not live in Peoria, so this is an outside perspective. I'm sure when you're a local, you think differently of certain places or you like different places better, that's fine. These are just the places as an outsider that I love to go to every time I come back. I have been going to Peoria now for over five years, a couple times a year, so I've definitely gotten to experience a few of these places multiple times and I like to go when I go back every time, so these are my spots, so if they're not yours, that's fine, but um, if you're a newbie like me, go in there, check these places out. Okay, so let's just dive right in. A lot of these are food places. I do have like one or two stores slash activities, so. The very first place is Trevsker's Bakery. If you're from there, I'm sure you know about this place. It's like super old. It's just been there for a long time, and it, it is just a traditional kind of hometown bakery vibes, but it's, it's very large, so I guess I shouldn't say that, but it just has all those, like, it has your cinnamon rolls, it has your donuts, it, it makes your cakes, it makes your cupcakes. They have so many things it is so good it's always you know not always it's not always packed but on like busy holidays or days like that it's always packed in there with everyone getting their stuff it's just like the go-to place where everyone gets their baked goods they even um my husband's sister got married above the bakery so it's like it's it's a very cool building as well um but you just kind of got to go there the one thing that I don't love about it though is I'll go there and they'll, they have like so many different varieties of everything too. So like they have a lot of different coffee cakes and it's like I'll go and I want to get one but it is like a big coffee cake so it's not like I can like eat it for just me and my husband, you know, or just go buy. They do have small pastries and donuts, but I don't know, you get what I'm saying? Or like I go and buy a loaf of bread, but it's a big loaf of, I don't know, that's just a personal thing. And I guess the other thing is when I'm there, I'm normally traveling there, so it's like I'd have to take, I don't know. That's just a logistical thing, but I still recommend going and getting something. And their cakes are so good. I do really, really love their cakes, so. The next one is Sid's. So it is kind of in like a, it's kind of tucked inside like a park almost. Um, but it's a really cool like little takeout restaurant bakery type situation. They serve all of their food. They make like a big portion of it and then they just dip out of it for what you want to take at home. So they have all those. They have a bunch of desserts though. The desserts are what I really like. Um, I always get the peanut butter pocket, so good. Um, they have really good smoothies. I don't think they have coffee, but it's just kind of a good, like it's a good like lunch spot, I would say, or something to grab and go for lunch. Like really good and I think you can like, there, there's some tables outside that you can eat at as well. And it's in a park, I don't know, it's just, it's a cool little spot so I definitely recommend going to sit. And then the next one is my favorite pizza spot which is Agatushi's. And it might be my favorite just because his family really loves it as well. It's kind of been a um, staple pizza restaurant in the family forever but I really do think it's good. And what makes it so good is this sauce, it's called tiger sauce and it's just like neon green sauce that's like a mix, I don't know what exactly it is, but it's like oil, garlic. It's so good, you put it on your pizza because pizza doesn't have enough grease and everything already, and it is just so good. It's so good that I currently have a bottle in my fridge right now, and people probably think it's like something else. Um, but it is really good, so I do like that. It's a very like homey place inside, very like they haven't updated the decor since like the 70s, but I like love it, it's good. Um, I get my pizza well done, no trim, remember that. No trim, they just don't like trim. I don't know what they do, but it's good. So cheese, well done, no trim. Next one is One World Cafe. And um, I have actually only been here once, but my husband's obsessed with it. Like that's his favorite place to go. So I am adding that into the list. I really liked it as well. Again, a good like lunch spot. I think you can get dinner there too. You guys, I don't even know what's on the menu. I like literally can't remember. I think I got french fries there. But my husband is really obsessed with it, so that's why I'm adding it to the list. And it is like it's number one on like Yelp or TripAdvisor whenever you look there, so I do think it's a good spot to go to, but I just don't really remember. It's like American, I think, but they might have like some Mediterranean as well. I could be losing my mind. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're not gonna listen to me because you're like, oh my gosh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. But I do, 
it's good, trust me. The next one is finally a store, and that is Pink Sugar. Um, this is in the Junction City shopping area, and it is just a really cute clothing store. Love it, it has kind of my age range type clothing at a decently reasonable price. It's like a little pricier, but not like designer. I don't know, it's a good, like, I feel like it's a good spot. I always like to go and check out what's in there. So that's probably my favorite like clothing store there. Okay, the next thing is a thing to do, and that is to drive on Grandview Drive which is just like the area of town where there's all the nice beautiful houses, but the drive is kind of along the river as well. So it's just a really pretty drive to kind of go take your time down. All the people trying to get to their house will probably try to like speed by you or whatever, but it is really pretty. Um, the houses are gorgeous. There's, there's some like normal houses, but then there's also some like huge houses. I don't know, They're, it's cool. Take a drive down there and check it out. And actually what we typically do is I'll get to my next spot we like to get coffee at Leaves and Bean. So Leaves and Bean is my next spot. But, and then we like to take a drive down Grand Group Drive. It's like kind of all in the same area. Um, but anyways, Leaves and Beans is the next one. It's a coffee shop. It's Wes's favorite. That's like the first place he took me to. It's just a cute, quaint little coffee shop to, you know, read a book or just, you know, grab some coffee. Um, so that's, that's one of the coffee shops I recommend. But I do have another one and I have Zion Coffee which is also a really good one. Um, and this is downtown Peoria. And it's a little more like hipster vibes, like white on the inside with like a lot of plants. But it's really cool. It's in a cool building, cool little area. So Zion Coffee is another one of our coffee spots we enjoy. Okay, the next one is Ardor Bakery. This is a newer one, but I am loving it. Their baked goods are so good. They have the more like traditional baked goods, like the baguettes, the croissants, um, some like fancy French pastries. So good, highly recommend. Yeah, probably get there early though, cause it does sell out. I remember we went, the first time I went, it was like probably an hour before closing and they had like three things left, but it's still so delicious, highly recommend. And then the one other place, Sugar Wood Fire Bistro. I knew it was sugar, I just didn't know if it was like Wood Fire Bistro. But their mac and cheese is my favorite mac and cheese ever. It's, it's very comparable, I would say, to like Panera mac and cheese, but it's, Oh, it's probably better for you. Maybe, maybe it is Panera, who knows? But it is so good, I love it. They have a lot of good food too. And Sugar is owned by, I think the same chef owns like Sugar, Thyme, and like another one, Cracked Pepper maybe? I don't I don't know, sometimes, sometimes they close and oh, I don't know, but they own a few different restaurants, so all those restaurants are really good. Um, So I would check those out as well. But I think that was 10, 10, 10 places, 10 things, 10 whatever. That is my guide. If it ever changes, I'll let you know, but I, I've liked all of these for a couple years now, so I can't wait to go back again and go to all these places, and I'm sure I'll vlog that as well. You've probably seen some of these places in some of my vlogs that I've done as well, so if you want any of those Peoria vlogs, check out my channel, like and subscribe. I do all of the things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.